In this video, we will look at the G or Pa'al participles, both active and passive. As in Hebrew, participles are a form of the verb that has gender and number, but no person. They are called verbal adjectives and have some traits of both verbs and adjectives. They can also be used as nouns. Note the endings and vowel patterns of the active and passive participles. Notice that the passive participle has a characteristic hierarchical nun internal vowel, and the endings are the same as you would find in a noun or adjective. Notice, however, that in the active participle, the vowel underneath the first consonant is lengthened. Uh, this is different from the perfect in which you would have a reduced vowel. Now, the, the participle is most commonly used to express present time. However, the participle in Aramaic can express almost all the points of time as the imperfect, and thus participles are often used instead of the imperfect, which seems a little bit confusing at times because there is not necessarily a pronoun or indication of the person involved. So the participle can signal the future either alone or with the imperfect of the verb to be, hava. So in this particular case, and you will be driven out from humankind, as in Daniel 4.29. Notice um, that the person is indicated here by a lamed plus pronoun and then the participle. Participles can also be present. Your God whom you serve. And here the person is indicated by a pronoun. Anta. It can indicate various times in the past, either alone or with the perfect of Hava. So that town from days of old has risen up against kings. It became very common for the participle to be used as a narrative past, where you have sequential actions we mentioned in another, uh, we will mention in another video that there is no vav consecutive in Aramaic as there is in Hebrew, and therefore the participle is often used to indicate sequences of verbs or actions. Then the satraps assembled and stood and the herald called. All the forms are participle forms. At times, the participle can have a justive sense. Let it be known to you. It is very commonly used in the expression answered and said, or answered saying. Usually, both verbs are participles, but not always. Notice the first example, ane and amar, answered and said, are both participles in this particular context. However, just a few verses earlier, they answered and said. The first verb, ano, is a perfect plural, whereas amrin is a masculine plural participle. The passive participle is frequently used as a predicate adjective, sometimes as an adjective of quality. It may also be used with the perfect of hava to express the pluperfect, something which has happened before the current time of the narration. 
so which had been built.